Today, quantum researchers around the world are working to make useful quantum computing a reality. The key ingredients are simulation, improved scale and fidelity, error correction, and hybrid algorithms running on systems that fully integrate quantum processors with supercomputers. This is called quantum accelerated supercomputing. NVIDIA is working with partners in industry, universities, and government labs to build an ecosystem that will make this happen. Simulation is essential for both designing quantum processors, or QPUs, and developing better quantum algorithms. GPU-powered supercomputers, like NERSC's Perlmutter, enable the entire quantum community to develop better algorithms and processors. We've been trying to get researchers and companies access to our high-performance computing resources to advance quantum research in the areas of quantum simulation, compilation tools, exploring different application areas in chemistry, material science, and physics. We have the, the capabilities classically to actually test these algorithms at scale. To realize the potential of quantum accelerated supercomputing, it's critical that the scale, or number of qubits, and fidelity, or quality of qubits, continue to improve. One promising approach uses individual atoms as qubits. Clara Computing was founded about four years ago, uh, and we started out with a mission to commercialize quantum computing technology based off of neutral atom quantum bits. So the way that we quantum compute is that we take individual single atoms, uh, we cool them down to microcalvin temperatures using laser cooling. We trap them in a focused laser beam that we call an optical tweezer that we can actually move around in real time. And then to process quantum information, we shine other laser beams on those atoms, we flip their electronic state, represent a zero or a one or a zero plus one. So, I mean, we've known for decades that quantum computing could be a powerful thing, but we also have known that decoherence and errors in qubits are a, a real-world phenomenon. The main problem with quantum processors today is that they're noisy. There's lots of errors. You try to run a computation and you get errors. Uh, but we have a way to deal with it, which is called quantum error correction. For that, we need to keep measuring qubits in the quantum processor and then perform pretty heavy classical processing on the classical side. We partnered with NVIDIA about a year ago uh, to build a new product that we call DGX Quantum, which is a first of its kind system that brings the latency between the QPU and the NVIDIA GPU down to the microseconds and even below level. This is critical to perform what we call quantum error correction. This is really like the critical point uh, for all of us to be able to take those noisy qubits and perfect them and create algorithms that are actually immune to that noise. And as we do that, there's a ripple effect up the entire stack. So all of the ecosystem partners have to understand how this error correction works and actually design algorithms that take advantage of its strengths. So hybrid al algorithms are designed such that quantum computer is doing something that it's good at and it's trading off with a classical computer that's doing something that it's good at. If you want to try and characterize a chemical system, understand how molecules form or behave, how materials properties emerge. There are a lot of hybrid algorithms that are, are actively being developed and deployed to see if we can do this in some sort of scalable manner. Researchers around the world are striving to make breakthroughs in drug discovery, environmental challenges, and many other use cases critical to humanity. With quantum accelerated supercomputing, we look forward to breaking the barriers to solving the world's hardest problems.